Hi, my name's Ian Puddick. I'm a former Jehovah's Witness minister. Um, and I just wanted to make a very, very short statement, really, that hopefully will help to um, improve uh, the, the discussions online or the debates online. Um, Channel 4 very uh, courageously broadcast um, a documentary about Rebecca Vardy, somebody I wasn't familiar with, who I believe is a footballer's wife and sort of famous in her own right. Good luck to her. Um, and she was sexually abused as a young person, a young child, um, when she was a Jehovah's Witness, and the church did nothing to help her. And the documentary on Channel 4 really showed how um, it wasn't just her that suffered, uh, but obviously lots of other people. But the real reason, this is the, the point of this video really, is I've, I've shared um, this um, information online and got loads of abuse from maybe current Jehovah's Witnesses saying it's not true, it's all lies, it's all made up and all this kind of stuff. And they're right to say that as Jehovah's Witnesses because Jehovah's Witnesses would be absolutely forbidden from questioning the religion because as a good Jehovah's Witness, um, you, you are compliant and obedient to God's organisation, you don't question it. Um, so I totally understand why they do that. A lot of people say it's all lies. Um, so, you know, do Jehovah's Witnesses cover up child abuse? Well, it's, it's a difficult, the answer to that is a difficult one. I'll try and explain why rather than sort of avoid the, the question. Um, I got a lot of abuse from people saying, oh, this is all lies. You shouldn't be sharing this information. It's not true. Uh, well, it is true. It's absolutely true. Um, and I'll give you, oh, excuse me. I'm in my gin distillery and it's a mess. Um, it's just knocked over something. Um, what, uh, where do I start? Um, so do Jehovah's Witnesses cover up child abuse? Well, what and why do they do that if they do that? Well, the answer is it's the culture of the religion. So as Jehovah's Witnesses, you would know that um, your fellow brother or sister, that's another Jehovah's Witness. If you had a falling out or a dispute, would you rush to court and sue them? The answer would be no, um, because as the organisation teaches you, uh, you need to be obedient to God's organisation. And at the same time, you wouldn't want to bring Jehovah's name or his organisation to disrepute um, in any way at all, or bring any shame upon that uh, by having any of that aired in public in a public court, so you wouldn't do that. Um, and for the same reason, the reason they cover up child abuse is the, the culture. Um, they have a, a two witness rule, so when a child is raped or abused by another person, um, if little Sarah or little Johnny uh, says to their parents, such and such in the church raped or abused me, they, were, they don't go to the police, a normal person would go immediately to the police. Um, as a Jehovah's Witness, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't go to Satan's system. You wouldn't go to people outside the organisation. Um, you would go to people in the organisation and that would be uh, fellow elders. Um, and what do they do? Do they rush to the police? No, what they would do is, uh, they would, first thing they would do is they would contact the branch and ask for advice. They'd get through to the legal department and say, such and such has made an allegation, what do we do? And interestingly, when you ring the branch and they put you through to the legal department, the person that you would speak to, that the elder would speak to, to seek advice, will not give a name. Um, so they couldn't go back and say, well, I was told by Joe Bloggs or Joe Smith. Um, they wouldn't have a name. The people don't give a name there um, for reasons that will become obvious in a few moments. Um, so then the elders would do their own investigation and what they would say is, well, we need a witness to the crime. Now, when paedophiles rape and abuse children, they do it in secrecy and in private. There's not somebody watching. Um, so there is no third witness. There is no third person that viewed or, or saw what happened. Uh, so therefore, um, nothing can happen. How can you investigate it? There isn't any proof. You've got a little Johnny or little Sarah's uh, testimony and then you've got the alleged abuser saying well I never did it unless they confess well interestingly sometimes they do confess and it's still covered up um, so is this all made up is this all a conspiracy is this Satan's attack which is how Jehovah's Witness framed the whole thing well just to put some uh, meat on the bone um, in my own congregation um, a guy called Eric, Robert, uh, Eric Robbins who has since passed away um, abused two young girls both sisters, physically sisters, they were related to one another. It's a Jehovah's Witness term, so you call all ladies, sisters, and all chaps, um, brothers. Um, so two young girls, they were sexually abused by Eric Robbins. Um, 
and it was all covered up. Um, and one of the girls, who's now an adult, obviously, said to me many, many moons ago that they were told by the elders, God, Jehovah, that's his name, has forgiven Eric. The congregation has forgiven Eric. Can you forgive Eric? And the pressure was on the victim now to be compliant and say, well, God's forgiven him. All my brothers and sisters in our creation have forgiven him. I should forgive him. That would be a right, the right thing to do. That would be a hard, big hearted thing to do. So that was a personal experience, people that I know. Um, BBC Panorama, oh, must be 18 years ago, did, um, I'll put the link into the description. Jehovah's Witnesses would be forbidden from watching it because it will be all be seen as an attack on the organisation by Satan and, and all full of lies. But anyway, BBC Panorama did an investigation and found that they, Jehovah's Witnesses, had a secret database of over 20,000 cases of child abuse, child rape. Um, most, the majority of it will be covered up. Um, and that was a, a BBC uh, Panorama investigation. And then uh, more recently, in recent years, the Australian Royal Commission uh, held a very public um, investigation, um, which you can see online. Members, a member of the governing body was subpoenaed by the court uh, to attend, and you can see his testimony. I've spoken to brothers and sisters about it. That's how the Jehovah's Witness says, that's all lies, it's not true. Well, it is true, and you can see it. Uh, and what was interesting in the Royal Commission in Australia uh, there were under 2,000 allegations of child abuse or child rape, um, and not one, not one, was reported to the police. Not one. So you could say, well, some were reported, some weren't reported, some weren't handled properly, or there was a mistake, or they just got something wrong. You know, that, that would be acceptable. You would understand that as human, people make mistakes, people get things wrong. But just under 2,000, and not one of those allegations was reported to the police. So the million dollar question is why? Is they all making blunders, everyone's making mistakes, procedurally getting it wrong? Not when you get to that kind of figure, then you have to understand why, and the million dollar question is the culture. Uh, why would you go to Satan's system, to Satan's police, Satan's court, bring reproach in God's name, Jehovah's name? Um, and that's why it happened. So it was a very, very brave move uh, of Rebecca Vardy to, to, to come to, you know, who, wants, who wants to admit they were abused as a child? No one, obviously. Um, so she, she did that very courageously. Um, Channel 4 very courageously have broadcast uh, the documentary. So look, I'm going to post this online, but all the people that are saying it's not true, it's not lies, I'm going to post the links to the Australian Royal Commission and to the BBC investigation and to some other investigations. And there are now lawsuits all around the world where Jehovah's Witnesses are paying out millions, millions and millions and millions to victims uh, who are now adults that were abused as children, but it was all covered up. Um, is it all lies? I'll leave that for you to decide. Thank you for watching.